This is only a review. I'll be taking a look at the Brookstone Weather Station. This will run you $99 at their store. They do have two models of this. This one and another one. The only difference is that the other one has a bigger screen. It's not worth it because they do the exact same thing but one has a bigger screen. Like I said, this is $99 so it is kind of expensive. If you own a smartphone and stuff like that, I wouldn't highly recommend getting that because you could just check it, check the weather on your smartphone pretty fast and easy. But if you don't have a smartphone and stuff, I would highly recommend getting this. You can leave it on a desk or leave it by your bed and you can check the weather and stuff. I'll be going over specs and the main interface and stuff. On the front, you got your 4 inch screen or 3 inch screen. I'm not quite sure of the dimensions. I apologize for that, but it is a fairly big screen size, and of course, it got two bezels around it. One's a white one, and one's a clear one. It looks sort of like a picture frame uh, that you would hang on the wall, basically. There's no uh, main buttons on the front of it, just a screen. Going to the back of the device, you got a city button. The city button basically lets you switch cities. There are like uh, 100 cities or 50 cities in here. There's a lot of cities. They don't do small cities, so if you're in a small populated area, you probably won't have your city. You'll have to uh, get the closest city to you, which is probably going to be a big city because it usually only does big populated areas. But there's a city button. You can change cities. I think you can hang it on the wall with that little, uh, little, uh, little uh, dock right there or slot. There's your favorites. It does got a, fa a favorites. Like if you go to certain cities or if you have your city, you don't have to keep switching through the city buttons. You could put like up to seven of your favorite cities in there. So if you like go on vacation and stuff, you just click on that button and it'll bring up your favorites. I think it'll hold like six favorites, which is nice. So you don't got to keep switching through to find your cities because there are a lot of cities in here, like I said. So it would take you a long time to find the city you're looking for. Then you can change the time zone, like the mountain time or central standard time, which is nice. And then... Here's the battery compartment. It does run on a regular uh, batteries, just three AA batteries, which is nice. No rechargeables or no 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 any any special battery, just three AA batteries. And then uh, it got a stand right here, so you could uh, uh, sit on a desk and stuff. It's a really nice stand. It's pretty durable. It usually doesn't fall over. Now going to the main interface. Just for the purpose of this review, I do not ha uh, have my uh, city on here. It is a different city, just for the purposes of this review. Anyway, let's take a look at the main interface of this. Uh, Brookstone Weather Station, it tells you the time up there, 12.50. It doesn't tell you the date, unfortunately, but it does tell you the time of day. It does tell you the condition outside. It's partly cloudy, or it's cloudy. This will switch depending on what kind of weather's outside. Like if it's uh, thunderstorming, it'll have like raindrops coming down, coming down from there, or it'll have like partly cloudy, also like a sun. If it's sunny and stuff, that will change depending on the condition outside. It does tell you the current date. It only tells you in Fahrenheit, though. It is uh, currently 33 degrees in Boise, Idaho. It does tell you what city you're in and what state and it feels like 39 it does tell you the feels like temperature even though it's 33 outside it feels hotter than 33 it does got the feels like temperature on here and then on the side it does tell you the high and low for each day like today the high would be 40 and the low is 23 and then it got your signal the ambient signal i think the ambient signal is from accuweather.com i think that's where it gets its signal like I said earlier, you don't have to pay for service. It's just a one-time fee. Once you pay pay nine nine dollars for this device at Brookstone, you never have to pay again. It's like a GPS. So uh, service is free on here. You don't have to pay a monthly subscription or anything like that, which is really nice. And then moving to the bottom of the device, it does got a four-day outlook. So you know what's going to happen on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It does got a four-day outlook, which is really nice. That's the main interface up here, and I will go ahead and show you some cities it has on here. It does have different cities. You can change and see, like I said, it will change depending on what the condition is outside. See, there's different cities. It's got lots of cities in here, which is pretty nice. And uh, that's pretty much my review for the Brookstone Weather Station. I would highly recommend it if you don't got a smartphone or an iPad or any kind of device like that. This would be a nice device to sit on your desk or sit by your bed. You can check the weather when you get up and it even tells the time, which is pretty nice. But like I said, it is kind of expensive just to check the weather. But this has been my review review for the Brookstone Weather Station. And I hope you enjoyed this review. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys later in my next video. Peace out.